Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are going to be checking out something pretty darn cool so without further ado let's get into this. So last week I was approached by Mad Planet Guy and he sent me these two simulations with these new planets in um, and I believe he did a video on this as well so I'll make sure to uh, link that in the description but if I go to the workshop here I've already got them all saved ready to go if we go down here uh, yeah, here's the first one. Okay, so it's new materials, methane, helium, and nitrogen gas giants. So if we just click on this, there's a second simulation we'll check out as well. Check these out. So helium, nitrogen, and methane gas giants in Universe Sandbox. You can't see too well in-game because you have to look in the files. And I actually did have a look in the files already, and I did see the objects. They they work. They, they have the methane. I looked at the methane one, for instance, over here. I looked in its file, and yeah, it said methane in the code. So really really cool stuff so they only work on human scale objects not actual planets and they don't show in the composition tab despite this these elements are very much present in these planets and you can check by opening the object file i've already done that so when they collide you can see the materials are transferred into the resulting object so if you enjoy drop him a follow on steam on youtube make sure to subscribe to him i'll leave a link to his video in the description as well and hopefully on the end screen as well so you guys can uh, check it out in, for more detail but yeah check these out so for instance if we go to the methane one here if we look in its composition Look, zero iron, zero silicate, zero water, and zero hydrogen. So in that case, what is making up this planet? Well, the answer is methane. If you look in the files, like I said, and like Mad Planet Guy said, this object actually contains an element which you cannot access in game. And all three of these all have different elements which you can not access in the game normally, which is flipping awesome. So if, if I just look in what he um, messaged me as well, so yeah, these are legit materials and they can transfer, but you have to find them in the json files in the object files and stuff so other than that you can't actually access these files you have to manually input them in the object files so the theory behind this is is that these elements have been in the game for a long time but they never made it into a full release it seems to be the uh, theory behind it so yeah there's always been these extra elements in game and if we go into this other simulation as well down here uh, new materials sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide now sulfur dioxide that's obviously, I've never seen that in the game before, but carbon dioxide, it has been accessible in the past. If anyone remembers the old organics material as well, the green material that you used to be able to add to stuff. Way, way, way back in the day now, there used to be a fifth option here where you could add a green one that was called um, yeah, organics. Well, carbon dioxide was always a secret material you could access as well. It wasn't available on the material composition here, but you were able to access it if you used the launch button. So let's actually see. I don't think this is available anymore. Yeah, you used to be able to select carbon dioxide on this uh, menu here. And it used to, you used to be able to make an entire planet out of it if you filled um, a planet up with it. But now you can't do that anymore. But it looks like the carbon dioxide element itself has stayed in the game files. So even though you can't access it in-game anymore, it still does exist in some shape or form inside the game for it to run here. So, for instance, this object as well, obviously you can't access it no more. But if, for instance, if we try adding other materials, look, we can't make it 100%. Look, we can't make any of the other elements 100%. So... We've got 98.4 on silicate, so what What the heck is making the other 2% up, pretty much? Well, that the answer to that is carbon dioxide. It's just the game cannot show it to us because it isn't programmed to and stuff like that. So, yeah, look at that. We cannot get this thing to 100% no matter what we do. We can add all the numbers together, but they won't fully add. There'll be a little extra percentage that is covered by this other element, which we can't access in the game. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, that is, that is absolutely awesome. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, reopen this as we put them all together in a similar yeah massive thank you to mad planet guy for sharing these with me because this is awesome and maybe um if we just ask hard enough and uh, ask for the feedback and suggestions in the universe sandbox maybe they would uh add these in the game as full-on elements i mean that would be the dream that would be really really cool if they did that i mean i would probably have to put that in the feedback myself as well but maybe if we all uh, come together and we uh, ask let's try and get these elements in the game maybe maybe they will maybe they'll listen who knows I mean, it would be cool. I mean, it never hurts to ask, does it? But let's, uh, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just, um, I'll save all of these so I can get them in the other simulation. So again, with this one as well. So we'll just put them, uh, Mount Planet Guy, so they all appear together in my object menu. So let's go ahead and just do that. And then, uh, just get rid of the bit at the end there. Just, uh... Okay, excellent. So again, we'll go ahead and save this one. So, Mad Planet Guy, Carbon Dioxide, Gas Giant. We've got both of those guys saved now. So now if we go back into the other simulation, we can get all of them together. So, look 
of this, right? I gotta say, I really, really like the methane and the helium and the nitrogen. I think they look really cool. I uh, like that. That they are gonna be great for making systems with as well. Just a whole new object to play with. Obviously, we can't really customize it, but even then, it's still really, really cool that we can have access to these elements, even though they don't register it in the game. The fact is, they still are recognized in the files as different objects, which is that is really, really good. awesome. Uh, where are we? So, map planet guys, scroll down a bit. They should be in here. Okay, here we go. So, carbon and dioxide and a sulfur. Sulfur, dioxide. So, we've got all of them there. Sulfur, dioxide. There we go. Look at that. That is awesome. So, let's go ahead and close them all. Uh, we'll make these guys bigger as well. So, uh, radius, yes, please. Make it bigger. Excellent. Uh, how large are these guys? 7.8 Earths. Okay. So, let's go 7.8, roughly. Same with you as well. We have 7.8. There you go. Let's line them all up. Look at that. That is so flipping cool. So all of these are extra elements. That leads me to believe if these are still in the game, like carbon dioxide, we know that was in the game at one point. The carbon dioxide one was 100% in the game as it used to be visible in the uh, composition menu. That leads me to believe organics. Do the organics, I have to ask my planet guy this as well. I don't know if you're watching matey, but do the organics still exist? I'm, I'm definitely gonna ask him that. Because if, if carbon dioxide exists and that was never available on the menu, well, what about organics, which, which was on this menu at one point? That that leads me to believe maybe there's more hidden elements. Maybe, maybe organics exist in some way or form. Or maybe they completely removed it. Could be completely wrong. Who knows? But I'm definitely going to have to ask about that because I think that would be quite cool to see the organics return as well. But yeah, there we are. So that's just a little preview and showcase of these hidden elements that you can now... Uh, find in the game files if you uh, download these objects so they're on the steam workshop you guys can go and get them I'll, I'll hopefully put some links for those in the description in the comments as well if you want to get your uh, hands on them remember as well not to repost these these are his curations and like he asked uh, when we open the simulation for instance uh, do not repost these these are his uh, objects so yeah where are we here so yeah don't do not steal or repost them so yeah make sure to do that if you uh, check these out don't put them in your own simulations and then upload them like that so yeah, other than that, though, if you want to check them out for yourself, definitely go ahead and uh, check them out um, in the uh, links below in the description. You should be able to just search them up on the workshop just by searching in, um, where, where are we? So searching in new materials in the capital letters, they should pop up when you search that. But yeah, that is that is really, really cool. So a massive thank you to Mad Guy for sharing that with us. I think that's, that is really, really cool stuff. And yeah, like I said, I'll leave a link to his video uh, down below on these as well. But yeah, I'm definitely going to make use of these in uh, some future simulations, I think, because they have, that's going to be really, really cool to experiment with. I wonder if, do they get affected by temperature or anything? If you said they were human scale objects, my guess is they don't get affected by, yeah, because they, they don't get affected by temperatures, because they're not officially, these elements don't are not compatible with planets, I think is the way it works. So, what we can do though, let's try colliding it with a, a planet. So, let's just go with Saturn. So, let's combine these and see if they do anything. So, Saturn versus that. Oh God, <laughs> what's happened there? Oh dearie me, that's not looking good. <laughs> what is going on there? Is it eating it? Oh my gosh, right. Do they do they collide? No? Oh, they just go in each... Oh, that is weird. <laughs> it's a helium gas giant. So does this now contain... Yeah, hydrogen. So it got a bit of material from Saturn there. But it still has its own element in there as well, which is pretty, pretty neat. So let's uh, actually reopen that again. Let's just collide them without throwing any extra objects in. So I'm guessing they should all just... Oh, let's uh, go back in there. Where are we? Right, so they're going to collide. Oh, oh god, where, where, where are we going? Right. Oh, they're traveling at light speed, it says. Right. Oh god. Right. Okay, so... So this one ate them all up. So, yeah. Even with those collisions, it still hasn't got any of the normal four materials on it. Yeah, that is... That is really, really cool. But yeah, enough of me babbling on, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed today's video showcasing these objects. Like I said, if you want to check them out, look in the description and stuff. And um, yeah, you can check them out. And again, a massive thank you to Mad Planet Guy for sending these in. He's also got some more stuff for me to check out. So stay tuned for that um, in the uh, coming weeks as well. There's more like objects and stuff hidden in the files. So we'll definitely get to uh, checking those out at some point. But yeah, that all said and done, guys. Let's see if we can get for 50 likes a day for these brand new uh, elements in the game. Well, I say brand new, but they could have been here the whole time. Who knows? They could have been here for a long time. Just never implemented into the game properly. But yeah, stay tuned for more, guys. Um, and yeah, see if we can get for 50 likes for these objects. And subscribe. Help us in the journey to 30,000 subscribers subscribers now stay tuned also for the uh, 20,000 special i've still not forgotten i'm just trying to work out time to do it because i'm very busy now so yeah stay tuned for that but yeah enough of me rambling on make sure you guys all have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>